Now, before we go too far into it, I thought I'd show you just a, a quick example of an, what is an app that, how do you take an app or what does an app look like that you use today as a sort of standalone app and really add those four dimensions to it. And for that, I, I thought I'd use something that I personally use every day. Uh, I actually picked a rich client app on purpose and show you the web um, uh, and sort of those four dimensions across this app. And I picked Media Center. Now, the challenge with me, how many people here have ever used Media Center? Good, that's why you're at Mix. You're the very target audience. How many of you actually use the Media Center every day? Good. I use Media Center every day. Love this thing. Just wait until you see Media Center on Windows 7. You're going to be floored. It's phenomenal. Now, the challenge with uh, a little promotion there, um, the challenge with Media Center for me is that I actually have a lot of devices that we manage in my household. And even though we might not be a, uh, you know, a typical household, uh, in a few years we might be. Like we have literally like on north of 20, 26 devices that we manage daily. And so with Media Center, um, you know, today the way I use it, it runs on one machine in my living room, and you have to be sort of in front of it to do anything useful with it. And what I want is I want really the way it should work. The guide should be available to me on any device I use, including my phone or on the web when I'm away from my PC or even at work when I remember I forgot to schedule a show. The shows should be everywhere. My friends should be able to see what I'm recording. I should be able to see what my, you know, my brother is recording. I want to see what's, what's going on with this sort of style media across people, across devices, and potentially in multiple apps as well. And so uh, this guy in the Media Center team actually wrote the app I'm going to show you. And um, let's go ahead and uh, split the screen. I'll show you it running on two different machines. Uh, on this machine, I'm going to launch uh, a couple of apps that we've written for this demo. Let me actually get those fired up. And we'll talk about what they do. There we go. So we have Media Center running on a rich device on one screen. We have uh, an app we wrote that's actually a Silverlight application that runs from a website. In this particular case, it's hosted in our CTP, so it's loaded from there. And we have an app uh, that's actually running on my desktop as a Silverlight out-of-browser application that you saw uh, Scott Guthrie announced this morning. And the idea is that I can go to my Media Center and look at the guide. I can go up to a website, any website that's hosting this app. Uh, currently, again, you can only host it in the CTP, but you'll be able to host it on your own uh, sites as well. And if I go and let's go and find some interesting show. We've got Arthur. That sounds like an interesting show. So I can browse this app. I can browse the guide anywhere I go. If I'm in an airport kiosk, I can hit record on this show. Um, and what you'll notice is at my media center at home, um, now that show is being recorded, and what actually happened here, the web app essentially put a little blob in the cloud that says, hey, please record this show in the guide. There was a notification sent to my media center that picked it up, looked up in the guide, is this sh a valid show? Said, yes, I'll record it, send the notifications back. The web app got notification that now the device is recording it. And of course, if I go now to um, this application, this application, well, hasn't gotten it quite yet. Uh, but this app is running on a different device, right? It's running actually off of what we call our local runtime. It's actually not connected to the cloud directly. It's connected to uh, the local runtime. That data will get at some point synchronized to this device. And this application, even though it's an out-of-browser Silverlight app, will still get this notification, pick up this piece of data, and, work, and be able to work with it locally. Now, and actually, let me show you another part of this app. If I go to my phone that's connected. We also have a guide that runs on a Windows mobile phone. And you can actually browse to different shows on it. The guide is synchronized locally as well. You can see the Arthur show being um, synchronized at 3 o'clock. And the interesting thing about that, again, like on a mobile device, the last thing you want to do is sitting there polling the cloud all the time. Um, the data is synchronized in the background to this device. It gets a notification in the app. It can show the guide, work with the guide, work with any, uh, not just metadata, but any physical data like the show itself, if you chose to synchronize it across your devices, is accessible. Now, if you go back to the web app, on the right, what you'll see there's a pane that has um, sort of what devices this app is being synchronized to, uh, potentially news events related to it. So members of my family I share this application and the media center with can see what shows are being recorded, where there's conflicts, again, access from a browser, any device, and, and really any type of application. 